if you're measuring your nervous system readiness, mm -hmm. your HRV. Sure, we'll talk about that. It really is only accurate if you're still, right. which is why most monitors will do the majority of measurements when you're laying down. This only measures when, based on the accelerometer, it detects I that see. you're very still. And then once per month, you actually recalibrate it to a cuff measurement. Got it. So it's not like it's measuring it all the time, all the time because right. your values it. would be all over the place. Sure. So sure. similar to genetics, it's going to vary so widely from person to person mm -hmm. that what you're looking for is a pattern, right? Sure. Is your nervous system readiness going up or down based on your subjective measurements? Similar to blood glucose, right? Some people are healthy at 70, 80, 90. My average blood glucose, and you know, I'm, I'm an exercising fit individual who's cognizant of carbohydrate consumption. I'm pretty good between about 95 and 100. Now, really? Part of that is I, I restrict carbohydrates, and when you restrict carbohydrates, your body naturally will really release extra sugar. glucose sure. from the liver into the bloodstream. So paradoxically, if you're on a low carb diet, your fasting blood glucose tends to be a little bit higher anyways. Mm -hmm.